no, 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 kill her, no, no. Zelda is your shoulder is my dots. Um, remember, I have pink hair. One. Oh wow, this is pathetic. Hey everybody, it's Nin. Nintendo ES100 here with Let's Play Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, Episode 7. In the last episode, we took on the second dungeon of the game, the Desert Palace, and defeated the second boss of the game, Lan Mola, and got the second pendant of the game, the Pendant of Power. Um, but first off, starting this video, um, something I was wondering, I don't know if this was an intentional design choice, like if this, if this like little formation was supposed to look like something. Um, you know, wow, that was real smart, Link running right into the cactus bot on you. But, um, I don't know what that's supposed to look like, I can't really think of much, um, but if you guys can think of anything, please tell me in the comments. But, um, also in the last episode, um, we got the new item, the power gloves, now you're lifting really heavy rocks with power. Um, so we can now cut, lift these little stones, and we can't, but we can't yet carry, lift these little black stones. Go figure, we can lift the giant rocks that you see over there, but we can't lift one of these little tiny rocks, which seems to be the same size as that one. Go figure. I don't know, maybe it's just an overall, like, denser, heavier rock? I don't know. I'm not Ellen. I don't want to start thinking about all that kind of school stuff yet, even though I start school tomorrow. Fine. And, yes, um, if you're wondering, yes, I actually am recording this the Sunday before I go back to school, so... Once school, once school like officially starts and everything tomorrow, um, I, my recording schedule will probably be slowed down a little bit. Um, I will still try and record at, and upload as often as I can, but if I have like really long spaces in between stuff, I, you guys won't know why. Um, it was kind of like the same case back when I started Emerald and everything. Um, but yeah. But, well, most of the time, most of the delays in, like, em Emerald updating was mainly just due to, due to my laziness, which I'm going to try and get better at. Um, I've been doing this for a year, that's my, I guess my one-year resolution is I'm going to try and get better when it comes to uploading. But, anyway, um, wow, I didn't even send this video what I'm going to be doing. Um, we're going to be wanting to head into this little area first, um, just to get some extra helpful little items, and then we will be heading in the direction of the next dungeon. First, I'm wondering if the witch says anything different. Double, double, toil and trouble. Trubber? Double, double, toil and trouble. Fire, burn, and cauldron bubble. If you can't see, then you better scram. I'm making... making mushroom brew. I am. Some people may say... Some people might throw this kind of poetry in the bin, but I have to say it's Zelda rhyming for the win. <laughs> Okay, that was really lame, especially considering I messed that up, but, um, oh well. Anyway, something I didn't get to show yet, but with when you have the Pegasus boots, you can actually run, like, ram right into these piles of rocks and just destroy them. Pretty fun. And the waterfall of wishing is just around the corner, so the drunk dude that really wasn't drunk in Akariko was actually telling the truth about something? Hmm, go figure. <laughs> but anyway, let's just head up here and... Yeah, sweet, gotcha. Am I the only one who thinks that, also, am I the only one who thinks these crabs, um, look like the, the those crab enemies from the, the classic Sonic games? I don't know, am I just crazy for that, but, oh well, they don't like, but, they don't shoot fireballs or anything, but anyway. Um, this area, this is, basic. I think this is called Zora's Waterfall, um, basically, yeah, if, which would, is basically kind of this game's equivalent of, I would say, maybe, um, like Zora's Domain, um, which of course became another... Oh crap. Yeah. Um, you can't stay in the lighter sections of water just because that's shallower water and um, you can actually walk there. But let's see what's up here. Whoa. But I break. And... Whoa, that's a big dude. <laughs> what do you want, little man? Do you have something to ask of me in my weird eyebrows and strange face? Um... I just dropped by? Great! Whenever you want to see my fishy face, you are welcome here. Ha ha ha! Goodbye! Dots! Oh god, don't you starve! And that was kinda cool. Wasn't that totally worth coming up here? I'm kidding, that's not what we were here for. And yeah, you have to have an epic earthquake when you appear, but anyway... 
Whoa, wait a minute, didn't I just say this like five seconds ago? What do you want? I want the flippers, now hand them over. Whoa, but I don't just give these flippers for free. I sell them for five easy payments of 100 rupees a pair. Call within the next 20 minutes and I'll give you the ability to go through the waterways used by the, the sea folk. <laughs> Okay, I'm not turning this guy into Billy Mays. Okay, yeah, I'll pay the 500 rupees. Oh, ha, ha. One pair of flippers coming up. I will give you a free bonus with your purchase. Oh god, this is turning into an infomercial. I will let you use the magic waterways of the sea, which links rivers and wet lakes. When you see a whirlpool, dive in fresh. You never know where your service. <laughs> and even... Just like with the power glove, we only get one flipper, but apparently it counts as two, but anyway... You bought Zora's flippers! With these, you should be able to swim even in deep water, so you don't drown like an idiot. But, thankfully, now, yes, we can swim, and if you tap the A button, you can actually, um... Uh, paddle a little bit faster, and yay, down the waterfall! Unfortunately, you can't go back up, because we don't have the HM for waterfall yet. Haha, <laughs> Pokemon references for the win. But, um, anyway. Also, this game at least has enough sense to know that, oh look, my head's above the water. I'm not drowning, like in Wind Waker. But anyway. Before we leave, you want to head right over here and... You found a piece of art! Your heart level increased! Oh, hell yeah. Eight, eight hearts now. Awesome. I believe that's also our second heart container ever that we've assembled out of heart pieces. Pretty cool. Let's see, am I heading the right direction if I head over this way? Yeah, okay. This is the direction I came from. So before we leave, we're also going to want to have to head by that waterfall of wishing that the drunk dude in Kakariko was telling us about, so yeah. So just head over here, and even though it's not clearly marked, just enter this little middle section of the waterfall, and what do we have here? Um... Mysterious Pond! Won't you throw something in? What will you do? Throw an item? Don't try it. Hell yeah, throw an item! Select an item using the control pad and th throw it. Throws it. Throws it. Throw it using the Y button. Okay, whoops, I did not mean to throw my bow and arrow in there, but, uh, anyway, am I- Ooh, this lady's pretty cute. Hello there, did you drop it? Oh my god, it's Navi! I'll get it back, but don't drop it again! Um, that was weird. But, anyway, we want to go back in there and actually put in one of the items that we actually want to put in there. But, yes, we want to throw something in, throw- Throws an item! Uh, let's see, let's throw in our boomerang. Let's see what we get out of this. Okay, very, yes, there we go. Hello there, did you drop us? Yes, I dropped it. Hello, can I just first I'll get you something better in return? Yay! And what do we get? We get, ooh, a red boomerang. You got the magical boomerang! You could throw this faster and farther than your old one. So, getting a red boomerang means it increases our upper body strength to allow us to throw it farther? Huh? Uh, Nintendo logic. Don't argue. <laughs> but anyway, head back in there. Uh, yes, we want to throw something. We get the idea. Let's throw our shield. Okay. And... Anytime now. Okay. Hello, dear. Did you drop this? Yes, I dropped it. I can ask for something to better in turn. Okay, just give us the shield back. And, ooh, time for your red shield. Your shield is improved. You can now... Defend yourself against fireballs. Fireballs? Yum! <laughs> I had to make that joke. Um, and wait, now something I did. Wait, no. Wait, is it just me or does the shield look like it has the Geass symbol on it? Mm. It's probably just me, but anyway. Go back in there for the last time and let me see. Do I have an empty bottle? Uh, screw it, I'll just use this fairy. Okay, now we have an empty bottle. No, just, just put on a boomerang. Yes, if we want to throw something in, we get the idea. Throw in an empty bottle, and what do we get? Any time now. Hello there, did you drop this? Yes, if you haven't noticed, I've been trying to hit you the last couple times. I like an honest person, I'll give you something better in return. A uh, better magical bottle? I don't know. Ooh. She fills your bottle with the medicine of magic. To get such a free potion is quite a bargain. For free. I forgot to say the for free part. Way to go, epic voice in your head! But anyway, um... 
now our next destination actually well we're gonna have to want well no I want to demonstrate this thing this my our new shield blocking fireballs there you go yay our fireball it's, it's a fireball eating shield shield because our fireball that's our, not our fireball our shield loves fireballs because they like fireballs yeah okay I need to stop making that joke okay you are not gonna hit me from that distance it would not be fair this little also this little island right here the little one right here in the middle. Remember this location, because we will be coming back here later in the game. But for right now, we're gonna want to head up this direction. Okay, Link's been faster. Stop swinging from side to side. Just go forward. Come on. Swim faster. Swim faster. At least you can swim on like the characters in Pokemon. Come on. Random little triangle island. No reference to Triforce at all. Hmm. And Hobo. Hobo. Hmm. Oh crap! My cell phone is ringing. Okay. Just to be mean to the hobo, I am going to blow up his fire. Aha, I'm such a jerk. And it didn't work. Great. Okay, blow up his tent. No. I wonder if we can set his tent on fire. Fire! No, okay, no, not gonna say it, not gonna say it. And it's still nothing. Okay, what does the guy got to say? I'm surprised he didn't wake up from that. Yo, Link, you seem to be in a heap of trouble, but this is all I can give you, considering it's all I own. This is a magic bottle. You can use it to store items inside, then use them later, if you didn't know that already. But you might want to wash it first, because it was touched by that dirty hobo. <laughs> but anyway, after getting that bottle, which is our third bottle of the game, pretty sweet, we're going to want to head down this dirt... Okay, we want to head back from where we were going. Um, and let's see... Going, going, just surprise, farther... Come on, hurry up, hurry up, swim faster, swim faster, swim faster, swim faster. I, there are only two more things I want to do in this video, and that's, um, one of them is optional, well, technically both of them are optional, but one's a, um, one is actually, one of them is actually something I, uh, kind of showed in a previous episode, but I don't think I've ever actually seen myself in a playthrough of all, whenever I've played through this game, because I've never had to use it. But anyway, let's just, let's see. Let me show you on the map where I'm heading. I'm heading in this direction, over back towards Link's house, and then heading up towards the sanctuary area um, for another heart piece. Anyway, let's see. Let's head down here. I mean, okay, stop, stop. Okay, back off, back off. Okay, that's it. No. Money, yay, money. Must have money. You die. No. D stop hit. Stop making me die. It's not. That's not how the game works. But anyway, let's see this little building over here. No. Bad. <laughs> I almost set it on fire. That would have been awesome. Wow. Two enemies in one hit. Okay. I'm not complaining. Let's see. Yeah, we saw one of these in n a little bit uh, north of Kakariko. So let's see. Hmm. Dots. You look like you have might have an interesting destiny, Dots. May I tell you a fortune? I'll make it cheap. Dots. Uh, ah, oh, screw it, I'll ask him to tell it. I've never actually done this before, so I wonder what he says. Hocus Pocus. Not even the mighty Master Sword can harm the wizard's body. Now I'll take 30 rupees, I hope, I hope you'll be healthy. <laughs> you jerk! That wasn't even helpful, come on! <sighs> Seriously? Okay, that was a rip-off. Complete rip-off. That just proves Link is, um, a sucker for advertising. Don't blame this on me. This was- it was all Link's fault. I mean, it was completely Link's fault. It was completely his choice. I mean, he couldn't speak or, like, object to this, but no, it was all his fault. It was his idea. I mean, it wasn't my idea at all. I mean, come on. Okay, 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 I'll stop. But anyway, back up towards the sanctuary area. Giant rocks! Haha. <laughs> And wait, did I ever read the sign? Okay, like Easter Palace, Hyrule Castle. Yeah, big deal. We already kind of we already know where both those places are. And yay, nice little shortcut. Now that we have Zora Flip Rings, yay! And just go up here, to kill the Sonic Crab, and get you, and go past the tree. Wait, I don't think if I I don't know if I ever showed this in a previous video, but if I did, well, I'm showing it again. Slash that bush open, and ooh. Inter that sounds familiar, so I wonder what we could find in here. Excuse me, I burped. I will seal the wounds and cover you in your sound. I will close your eyes and rest. Dots! Oh god, that's annoying. Sparkles, yay! And 
I don't know if these are supposed to be like looking like fairies, but okay, they, the bodies look like fairies. The heads look like angry parakeets. I don't know, maybe they're like the birds that are owned by Mossy so from Zelda Dungeon, I don't know. But <laughs> anyway, let's keep going on towards that heart piece I mentioned earlier. That piece of heart! Which, yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, that's a, it's official. I'm gonna, every time I get a piece of heart from now on, I'm gonna say a piece of heart. But anyway, just now that we have the Pegasus boots, we want to head up to this little area. Just this little, well, no, 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 bad, no. I just got fully healed. No, I didn't need it. But I don't need you guys taking my health away. And... Spin attack! <laughs> but you're gonna want to use the Pegasus boots on this little pile of rocks right there. Couldn't think of what I was saying. And, ooh, a lone treasure chest. What's this? You found a piece of rock! Awesome. But that's pretty much it for this episode. In the next episode, we will be heading up towards the next dungeon. Um, but, you know, just for the hell of it, I think I'm actually going to end off this video just, like, for old time's sake. Okay, no, no, no. Die, enemy. Die, DDD soldier. Um, just for old time's sake, I'm going to end the video where I ended the first video off of the series. So, this is Nintendo, on the, well, on the note of me doing a spin attack, like, is becoming my normal I guess. Um, this is Nintendo Wii S100 signing out in the same place he ended the first episode. See you guys next time.